Hi guys, welcome to another lecture and today we'll be discussing something about twin twin transfusion syndrome and uh, if you want like, share and subscribe, uh, please do it right now and uh, twin twin transfusion syndrome is usually seen in MCDA pregnancy, monochorionic diamniotic pregnancies and here see what happens is there are two criteria that need to be fulfilled. So first one is that the pregnancy should be MCDA. And the second criteria is that one baby, one, uh, you know, one uh, amniotic, cotyledonic baby, one should have, uh, uh, you know, one should have polyhydroamnios and the second should have oligohydroamnios and the definition technically they have given as the single deepest pocket, okay, SDP, also known as maximum vertical pocket and uh, SDP or MVP. So SDP one should be less than two, two uh, centimeter, and second should be more than eight centimeter. So here, uh, uh, you know, the amniotic fluid index is technically not used in the guideline of uh, SMFM guidelines. What are SMFM? That is Society of Maternal and Fetal Medicine. So these are the two guidelines. Now, many places there are, uh, you know, some definitions, 20% weight discordance, 10% weight discordance, depending. So, uh, you know, more than 20% weight discordance is a supportive factor, but it is not a part of diagnostic criteria. There is another syndrome known as TAPS. So what is TAPS? TAPS is twin anemia polycythemia sequence. Anemia polycythemia sequence. And here, what do you see is that one patient has anemia, the other has polycythemia. And that can be seen by uh, the resistance index or the maximum PSV, peak systolic velocity of MCA uh, artery. Okay. Now, the, the classification that is used in twin twin transfusion syndrome is known as Quintero classification. Quintero classification here what happens there are five classes there are five classes of Quintero and what are the see this is a very a brief lecture so you know you can revise maximum points over here so first is that see there is MVP or single deepest pocket more than eight centimeter and the discordance is there SDP more than 8 cm and 2 cm wala that one child has oligo, second has polyhydroamnios. What is the second? There is collapsed or absent visualization of bladder. Okay. Why there is hypovolemia? So there is no formation of urine. So the collapsed bladder can be seen. The third is third is a reversal. Reversal of flow in umbilical artery umbilical wave and ductus venosus. Okay. So here there is reversal of flow that, uh, you know, one twin is not getting blood. Absolutely. The other is getting. So there is a reversal of flow. Four is fetal hydrops. There is hydrops fetalis, fetal hydrops. And fifth is death of one or more twin. Death of one or both of the children. Okay. So this is the Quintero staging. How do we treat? So according to this Quintero staging only, we will be understanding that how do we treat. So one, the stage one, wait and watch. Wait and watch. Stage two, three, four. That ideal treatment is a laser photocoags. You, you know, burn the connection between the two twins so that you know the mismatch does not occur and the second or the less preferred technique is amnio reduction amnio reduction and stage 5 that one child has died or both of them has died so prognosis should be explained because there are very high chances in the surviving child that the child might have cystic encephalomalacia brain damage or other complications also. See, usually the child who is polycythemic dies. So, anemic child also survives. So, the child that survives also might have complications. So, you have to make them understand the prognosis of the condition of the surviving child. That's all for the brief, you know, understanding. And before I go, I would like to tell you something about my app. My app is there on Play Store, App Store. And you can also access my website. All the links are in description. And the 
we have one of the best course in postgraduate master classes even we have courses on neat pg so i would request you to please just you know click on the link below and see what the courses that i offer that's all for today guys i'll see you in the next one